I have been getting a lot of comments saying that long hair, I look like a woman. I look like a girl. I must be super feminine. Let's look at history to decide whether or not having long hair is a really feminine trait for a man to have. Let's start from the beginning. So, cavemen, back in the day, they didn't give a damn about their hair. You think they were worried about how long their hair was? The only thing they cared about was hunting for food for the next day. If their hair was long, they didn't end up going to their caveman barber bro to get a trim, did they? Like, obviously not. The only way their hair would get trimmed is if they lost it in battle, getting pulled out by a wild animal or something. But fair enough, fair enough. We've advanced a little bit since then, so we shouldn't act like cavemen. Let's look a little bit further on. In so many different ancient civilizations, long hair was the standard. Ancient Egyptians, ancient Greeks, even ancient Romans before Julius Caesar came along. Vikings have always been depicted in a kind of not so realistic way. You know, they've got the horns on their hats, uh, which apparently came from Europeans saying they were the devil, but the long hair that they have, that was actually real. Let's look a little bit closer towards modern day. Look at courts, some of the most powerful people in the world, they can determine whether or not you have your freedom. They wear a wig with long hair to represent power. So many religions and cultures still support long hair. Some legendary musicians from the 60s and the 70s, you know, we've got the Beatles, Bob Marley, the whole hippie era, they all had long hair as well. How many other historical figures had long hair off the top of my head? We've got Beethoven, we've got Isaac Newton, Leonardo da Vinci, and we've even got Jesus, even though people claim that he doesn't look the way we've depicted him as. There must be a reason that one of the biggest leaders to one of the biggest religions in the world, why he has long hair. In fact, it was only really during World War I and World War II that it really became the standard to have short hair and short hair became like a symbol of masculinity. In recent years though, it is making a comeback. I personally don't think I've seen as many diverse types of hairstyles since COVID. People tried something different for once and individuality became a huge thing. You know, our fictional superheroes, Thor, Aquaman, these badass characters, super masculine, they have long hair. Maybe now that I have long hair, I just notice it more, but I've seen way more guys walking around the streets with long hair these days. The misconception that people have is that when you have long hair, you really care about your hair. It's like, that's the girly thing. You really care about your appearance. You'd like care too much. But the actual reality is I haven't cared about how my hair looks this little since before I buzz cut it off three years ago. When I had short hair before that, I cared so much about every single hair and whether or not it was out of place. And uh, I was just like fed up with that. So I buzzed it all off. And since then, I've never cared as much. Some of my friends who have short hair care so much about their hair that they get it trimmed every two weeks. And when they have it even slightly grown out, they feel like their attractiveness just drastically drops. In fact, I buzzed it all off because I cared too much. And to be honest, having it this long is very similar to when I buzzed it off because yes, even though there's a lot of hair now instead of no hair, 90% of the time, I don't care about it. I just put it in a bun or I just have it messy and scraggly when I'm walking around the house. I just don't care. 10% of the time where I actually care, it's because I'm doing something nice, going out or I'm filming a video and so I'll just wash it and put some great products in, which brings me to this video sponsor, Blue Man. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I'm a big fan of Blue Man. I've been using them throughout my whole hair journey. It didn't matter what length my hair was. They always had products that were appropriate for my hair at the time. They've always been my go-to. When I had short hair, I loved their clays. And now that I have longer hair, I love their oils and their hair mask pomade. That's all I have in my hair right now. Their oils, their hair mask pomade, and I washed my hair with their shampoo and conditioner. So, yeah, they've always been reliable for me and I would highly recommend them to any of you guys, no matter what hair stage you're at. If you're interested, please check them out at www.blueman.com and use code GEORGE at checkout for 10% off. The link will be in the description. The point of this video is to say that having long hair doesn't say anything about your masculinity. Yes, there are a lot of guys with long hair who are feminine, but having said that, there are also a lot of guys with short hair who are feminine it doesn't actually make a difference. As for me, I enjoyed my long hair. I think it really represented the stage of my life, you know, the early to mid twenties hippie stage, I guess you could call it. But to be honest, I kind of miss caring a little bit about what I do with my hair. So I am really considering cutting it in the very near future. And I think that represents where I'm at with my life now a little bit better too. So yeah, I think the message here is get whatever hairstyle you want and, uh, don't listen to the haters.